Hello everyone, Giant Beer JJ here. Welcome to my channel. And uh, this is almost the end of 2021. I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, it's been a uh, very tough year this year. And uh, both in terms of the worldwide situation, also in terms of hardware. And um, uh, yeah, and today we're going to, I'm going to bring you guys the uh, unboxing of the ROG SOAR 2 Platinum um, a thousand watt power supply. So this power supply actually comes in four variants: uh, the 850 watts, the 1000 watts, the 1200 watts, and also the 1600 watts. So only the 1000 watts, as far as I know, is released. Uh, so all the others, I think, is going to release like later next year. Um, yeah. So uh, it is not very you know uh, exciting uh, compared to the video card and everything uh, but power supply is definitely a very important thing in your system uh, for me for my build I always use um, you know more wattage that I can have uh, compared to the battery that I required I've seen like people's system burn because uh, power supply uh, doesn't reach that standard and then it reached the peak wattage that's over uh you know over the, the the wattage of the power supply which causes the car to burn i don't want that to happen to my system so i always use pretty uh decent power supply so that i don't save you know i, I would save like uh, thousands of dollars buying a new graphics car so yeah um so what i'm going to do for this video is i'm going to unbox this thousand watt power supply and then i'm going to do a uh, you know, comparison with the uh, uh, Soar 1200 um, power supply. That's the uh, that's the one released earlier, um, and uh, they have this exactly the same dimension. So I'm um, gonna we'll compare with that one to see any differences in there, and we'll go from there. So without further ado, let's get started.
Okay, now you have seen how it looks like when turning on the system and uh, a uh, brief, uh, you know, the introduction of what's inside the box. And um, right now, let's compare it with the uh, uh, the previous generation, which is Soar 1200 watts platinum. This is in my big system. I was just uh, kind of too lazy to take it out because I have a lot of other things uh, inside the system, which is a big hassle. But we can see the difference from the uh, from the start. So first of all, uh, we're going to talk about this cover right here. So for this one it is uh very metal look like um and the rg logo comes in there and for the previous generation it is more like uh a um, uh it looks like plastic for me you know it's although it's metal it looks like plastic for me and it has the uh, eye logo here which it doesn't have on this power supply and the second prominent difference is this rog um triangle thing on the, uh, the, the the corner of this power supply so previously it is like a, a small sore logo here but for this one it's like a, a crystal like um, but this is definitely plastic crystal like thing <clears throat> in here that lights up uh, and syncs with the aura think which is pretty cool and uh, this part is the same uh, it has this um, you know, line saying that, uh, and also the RGI that glows. Uh, it's the same with the uh, the 1200 watts. And the biggest, the pro most prominent difference is the uh, uh, the Maya, um, you know, texture on this part of the uh, the power supply. So on the previous generation, I have checked my uh, pre my power supply I'm using right now. Uh, it is all like this part is not um, uh, mirror like. It is only like only this part uh it is the um, it can show is uh, only this part is the OLED screen and this part is all like you know carved in there uh, but for this one you can see that they have the sword logo in here and this is all like a mirror like texture uh, which is pretty cool <clears throat> but besides this which is more like on the aesthetic side i don't think there's a a, a much difference between the, this generation and the previous generation even if you look at the uh, uh, the, the texture, the, the features that they were broadcasting about this two power supply. Let me get the sword here. So, if you compare that, the upper one is the sword too. The the lower one is the sword, and you can see that they have exactly the same feature on both of the three first three that are listed here. And for the fans, uh, it's basically this, this to combine with this is exactly this combined with that. And they're all like Eddie Plus Platinum certification. So I don't spot any, you know, very prominent difference from looking at the packaging of this two uh, power supply. And one thing that I should mention on the ROG website is that uh, they're saying that their new power supply is PCIe 5.0 standard compatible, which they have uh, shown here. They have a 12 pin PCIe connector. <clears throat> I, I don't think you should ever call that PCIe 5.0 standard compatible because it is just a, a power connector, right? Like it's, it's used two of the eight pins. There's like no like 12 pin to 12 pin thing going on the model power supply. It's using the same standard, right? It's only a different connector that they included in there, which you can buy separately. You don't need to, you know, get this uh, if you want to, you know, being compatible with the PCIe 5.0 standard. So nothing special about that. Um, so I will say this too. Uh, really to me the same power supply just a little bit different on the look other than that there's no prominent difference and this thing like if you buy from um, other brands uh, I think Cooler Master or other brands that have made the 12 pin connectors only cost like um, maybe 10 or 20 dollars that's it I mean it doesn't doesn't justify the price difference because right now the, the sword a thousand watts is almost the same price i think it's even more expensive because it's new than the sword 1200 platinum so there's definitely no um you know no point of getting this one versus this one so uh of course these power supplies according to because they have this oled display here is much more expensive uh, compared to the uh, uh, you know others power supply that's also a platinum standard and also doing like you know the same wattage as theirs. So 
Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend getting it if it's not for the aesthetic. But in terms of aesthetic, it does look pretty cool. Look at this thing right here. Only if you have a PC case that can showcase this. So the PC case I know is uh, that can show these uh, power consumption in here is first of all the um, the Phantom P500, and the secondly is the uh, Strix Helios. I'm not quite sure about the other PC cases, but these are the two cases that I have that does can show uh, the wattage consumption in there. So if you use this and then put it, you know, uh, in a land lead case and you put it. Uh, on, the, on the you know the back side of the uh, uh, the uh, the case and you can see this power consumption along the way there's no point of getting it. it's just getting other supply from Coursera or from EVGA so there's no point of getting uh, the Thor one if you're not like a hardcore ROG fan uh, yep uh, that's what I think about this uh, power supply so now to my final thought about this power supply <clears throat> is it cool yes it is definitely pretty cool uh, given the fact you can show in the uh, the wattage consumption along the way and uh, knowing that how much wattage you're uh, basically drawing from your system and uh, is it justified for the price i think not because you can definitely get some other power supplies that have exactly the same uh you know standard uh, but just with all these all these fancy stuff and you have to pay like ROG taxes on the top so uh, basically what I think is it is not worth it uh, if it's not for the aesthetic so um, you know and, and, and also this thing came out is going to be pretty new and their price is going to be super crazy like I said if you want something that's showing your power draw you can just buy a power meter and then plug into the wall and then plug your power supply into it so you can show the power supply along the way uh, the power draw along the way um, so you don't need to get this uh, fancy power supply um, but uh, in terms of if you're like a pure ROG fan uh, there's also ROG Strix uh, power supply in there like doesn't have the, not the store lineup uh that's also um, you know considered it's rog uh but it just doesn't have all these fancy stuff so i don't know what's wrong with all these brands right now they just wanted to put like fancy stuff in here so i know that the uh the aros power supply uh they're even having like a, this one is just the oled showing the uh the power draw the the aros one is even putting a a screen here that can show some temperature or some gifs I mean, what's the point, right, of this power supply? It's, it's, it's kind of going, <clears throat> I think, going a little bit too far, uh, just putting, you know, some kind of OLED screen on every component of your system. Um, and uh, I, I, in my previous video, I, I think I, I said that I do want to see uh, some of the, uh, you know, stats of my system along the way, but uh, there's no point of to putting, like, you know, OLED screen in everything, right? And I know that even MSI right now is like the their Z690 got like motherboard is putting like a touch screen in there, which is also very ridiculous. Like think about like you're using your case and have to put your hand inside the case and then doing that touch screen. Like that's, that's just crazy. So um, yeah, but I think that's your choice. I think some people will think that this is no point. Some other people will think that this is definitely uh, something very fancy and they, they, they like to have fancy stuff uh, they like to have something glowing in their room that looks pretty cool I totally agree with that point so that's why these things exist and exist for the customers exist for people who value uh, their RGB lights and everything um, yeah um, this is my kind of my review for the uh, SOAR 2 power supply I didn't specifically go uh, taking this apart and look at the components inside but from what's on the packaging they look exactly identical with the previous generation so if it's not for the aesthetic i would recommend getting the first generation of uh, thor given the fact that some sometimes they were all even on discount i think the sword 1200 is like even a hundred dollars cheaper than the uh, 100 watts um <clears throat> Soar 2. So don't be fooled by the PCIe 5.0 standard. You can definitely buy that and then plug into five or two of the PCIe uh, times eight slots so that you can get a 12 pin in there. That's 12 
that's like you know PCA 5.0 standard. So uh, yeah, uh, this is my review for the Sword 2 Platinum uh, power supply. Hope you guys enjoy it, and if you do, uh, definitely subscribe to my channel. And um, again, uh, this is the end of 2021. I wish you guys have a new year in 2022. And uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the new year. Bye bye.